Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna just carry on modeling uh, using the edge loop method just to see if I can flesh out the head for you. So you can see I've got the eye there. I'm just gonna zoom in now and just go to vertex mode and just move some of the vertices just to see if we can line them up and uh, so you zoom in just try and figure out how it's going to look so what I want to do is going to select uh, edges down there and then if I click on the little square I'm gonna scale those out smooth that in there we go um, constantly gonna be switching between the front and the side because you can see already on the front that the eyes tape tapers off here on the side of the head so go to vertex mode W to move let's start thinking about pulling these in and make it line up and it's all about looking at the edges you see already I can see that with the ridge of the nose there's some edge loops that can definitely start merging together so I just select those move those up there move that there and then what I need to do now is in my top view just select these here just move those around and then use the rotate just to bring them around see get them to pan around and I actually should start thinking about clicking some of those verts there which are the side of our head just to see so just go try and move them in so it's it's always a question just pulling them in and I can you can already see there that there's a nice guide on the side of her head which is if I pull that one to there pull those in there gonna form the side of her head He's going to start forming the eyebrow here. Let's pull those down. Hold down shift just to move those out. So question to see just moving from screen to screen just to make sure I try and keep everything in check Let's see. that one there see. so right now I need to do another ridge again edge mode there we go extrude a little circle I'm just gonna pull that out to there And up to there and again look at my verts see where I can hit W see where I can start moving those together holding down V just to snap them together just to bring them down and now I have to start thinking about how they're going to connect up the forehead so just pulling them across there so let's move that one up to there so that one's gonna come across there there we go so that's the I remember always do a save periodically just gonna click over to my forehead ridge and I'm gonna say vertex and just select that W to move it and 
if I click on one oops uh, sorry deselect just snapping the verts together and already I can see there's natural some natural places where these are going to link up so let's click on that one and just set those move those up to there So now I, what I've got to do is start thinking about how I'm going to join these together. So I set that one, snap that into there, snap that into there. If you make a snap, let's uh, so just take the yeah. snap that into there. You can see already I've got a nice natural square there. So I'm going to snap that onto there. And extrude edge. Vertex mode. is actually stretched a bit so what I'm going to do is set those birds and just move them out now if I come in and this is where we can do a bigger movement if I say edges select hold down shift and select some of these extrude let's click on the little icon there that's the first one. Pan it back there. Extrude in that, that lot again. Into there. Move it back there. And already you can see we're forming parts of the head. It's beginning to come together. Say that one to there do another one to cater for that one that one is going to come across there so again now it's a question of snapping those verts oops yeah, this is where I have to start maximizing my view so I can see more of what's what I need to do just pull that one down there and you can see I'm gonna have to build in another natural ridge there so space for and again it's as I'm doing this I'm moving around the screen so that one there that vert where that vert is living let's pull that one back to here and then extrude that up there you go Vertex. And now I need to start considering welding, so let's just weld that together. 
Okay, I'm gonna tidy up this forehead section so vertex is select those. Select those. Q and double select, it's going to take the whole ring, so I just want to pick those. Oops. Extrude that one. Oops. Oh. Click on that. That one. And then one more just to pull it around to the side. And again, I'm going to now this is where I have to start looking at the other views to see how I can make bigger brush strokes, bigger movements to move polygons around. So if I hit those, hit the W, and you can just start moving those things around in E just to rotate, bring it in. Already just looking at that, I can see that I'm gonna have to. There's some pulleys I have to just bring down, and a lot of this now is gonna come down to soft selection movements where I'll have the soft selection tool switched on to allow me to move polygons, uh, vertices instead of doing them individually. So at this stage, I'll do a save. I'm just gonna select the eye and just try and uh, extrude out some of the edges to come down here so let me just take the edge on the chin and I'm going to say extrude just to try and do the two directions there we go so I'm moving it around and do another one. And just matching the jawline, both in the front and the side. And just one more, it takes us all the way up to here. And now it's a question of, let's see if we can just uh, fill in this gap here and then start w thinking about the lips. So if I click on my edge, I'm gonna hit G and just gonna extrude down. And again, there we go. You can see I have to work some of that in. And then one more time just to bring it in there. And here we got a nice some nice edge loops coming along, so let's move this in and just pull those in. Pull those in. And at this point, I'm going to start doing bigger movements. So if I select that entire run of verts and then just move those in. So we've got a bit of a stretch in there. See how the vert, these polygons are kind of huge. You see that there that one would that one would naturally merge to fit there but this one has kind of got two in there so I might have to insert another edge loop there so let's pull these in the other thing I need to think about is the lips so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just do another save object mode uh, my create polygon tool which is below go back up and I'm going to just 
in the front view, she just make there we go. That's just a lip there. I need to hit W just to actually just center the pivot on that. Let's move that to where it needs to be on the lips there. Let's rotate that. So it just kind of matches there. And then just say move the vert. Let me just select those two verts there. Just move them back here. And then I'm going to say edge and just extrude that again. So edge. Extrude. There we go. G. Extrude it out. Extrude it back there. G again. And you can also hit the square and scale them so you can actually get them to be scaled in size. And G again. There we go. And that's just that one side lip. Obviously, I've got to do some work on it. And if I hit edge. There we go, that's the bottom run of the lips for a text. I'm just going to hit W, move those to the right position. There we go, come on. Proving a little bit tricky to move. And then the last thing I need to do now is work that in. Select another edge. And do that. Just to pull that in, there we go. my lips uh, it's just a question of just thinking about these last few remaining vertices like you can see that I need to insert one there so in that case there I'm just going to say insert an edge loop just click on there that gives me the edge loop just going to line up the few remaining edge loops here and I can actually say edge I select the entire edge actually just extrude it up and you can see already a lot of the work is already done for me there we go so this stage, at this stage now, I will. I'm actually going to say object. I'm going to say file, save scene as, and call this head build 04. I need to go up a version number, so I've got a backup of my files. You can already see if I maximize this view, we're we're already getting close to. This is wireframe machine. We're getting close to a point where she's looking recognizable. Obviously, I've got the cheekbone just jutting out there. The eye probably needs to be a little bit more forward facing and some some yeah, some manipulation. But we've already got most of the major structures in. The nose is there, the lips are there, chin could be a little bit more defined, but it's getting close. So I'm gonna take another break now and then we're gonna come back and just try and start making it look more formalized as a female face. <laughs> 